Pakistani Americans Urdu, Pakistani Enzad Amriki are Americans whose ancestry originates from Pakistan or Pakistanis who migrated to and reside in the United States. The term may also refer to people who hold dual Pakistani and U.S. citizenship. Educational attainment level and household income are much higher in the Pakistani American diaspora in comparison to the general U.S. population. History in the United States Immigrants from areas that are now part of Pakistan had been migrating to America as early as the 18th century, working in agriculture, logging, and mining in the western states of California, Oregon, and Washington. The passage of the Loose Cellar Act of 1946 allowed these immigrants to acquire U.S. citizenship through naturalization. Between 1947 and 1965, only 2,500 Pakistani immigrants entered the United States. Most of them were students who chose to settle in the United States after graduating from American universities, according to reports from the U.S. Immigration and Naturalization Service. This marked the beginning of a distinct Pakistani community in America. However, after President Lyndon Johnson signed the INS Act of 1965 into law, eliminating per-country immigration quotas and introducing immigration on the basis of professional experience and education, the number of Pakistanis immigrating to the United States increased dramatically. By 1990, the United States Census Bureau indicated that there were about 100,000 Pakistani Americans in the United States and by 2005 their population had grown to 210,000. With the record immigration during the economic recession since 2007, it is estimates that the number of legal migrated Pakistanis in USA may be more than 500,000 in the 2020 USA Census. Many Pakistanis doctors take USMLE exams and MDs from top medical schools like King Edward and Aga Khan have established their medical education ranking in the USA. Many Pakistani Americans settle in areas with high Indian populations, as with other South Asian nationalities due to shared culture, and intermarriage has recently become widespread. Ethnic classification Pakistani Americans are classified as Asian Americans by the U.S. Census Bureau. Geographically, they are South Asian American. Topic. Demographics The U.S. Census Bureau in 2010 estimated that there were 363,699 U.S. residents of Pakistani descent living in the United States. This is an increased population from 204,309 in 2000 U.S. Census. The Census Bureau, however, excluded those living in institutions, college dormitories, and other group quarters. Some studies estimate the size of the Pakistani community to be much higher and in 2005 research by the Pakistani embassy in the U.S. found that the population numbered more than 700,000 people. The gap in numbers may be a result of the U.S. Census to count only Pakistani immigrants and exclude those born in the United States between Pakistani parents and those that are second, third generation Americans of Pakistani descent. Another reason is that some surveys group Pakistanis with other Asians, thereby distorting the true number because Pakistanis have to write in their ethnicity on the census form rather than checking one of the other major Asian ethnicities listed, making them prone to undercounting. Pakistan is the 12th highest ranked source country for immigration into the United States, the top 10 states of residence for the foreign born of Pakistani origin, 2006 and top 10 metro areas of residence for the foreign born of Pakistani origin, 2006. Out of a total population of 271,428, 50% of Pakistani Americans have origins in the Punjab province of Pakistan. About 30% are Mahajas and the rest are made up of other ethnic groups from Pakistan, including Pashtuns, Balochis, Sindhis, Memons, and Kashmiris. The most systematic study of the demography of Pakistanis in America is found in Professor Adil Najim's book Portrait of a Giving Community, which estimates a total of around 500,000. Pakistanis in the United States hold the largest concentrations in the states of New York and New Jersey, each with around 100,000 Pakistani Americans. Topic. New York City metropolitan area 
The Greater New York City combines statistical area, consisting of New York City, Long Island, and adjacent areas within New York State, as well as nearby areas within the states of New Jersey extending to Trenton, Connecticut extending to Bridgeport, and including Pike County, Pennsylvania, comprises by far the largest Pakistani-American population of any metropolitan area in the United States, receiving the highest legal permanent resident Pakistani immigrant population. Within the greater metropolitan area, New York City itself hosts the largest concentration of Pakistani Americans of any U.S. city proper, with a population of approximately 194,000 as of the United States 2010 census, primarily in the boroughs of Queens and Brooklyn. These numbers made Pakistani Americans the fifth largest Asian American group in New York City. As of 2006, this number had increased to 200,000 people of Pakistani descent said to be living in New York City. This figure additionally rises to a number between 220,000 when illegal immigrants are also included. Pakistan International Airlines served John F. Kennedy International Airport in Queens until 2017. While New York City has celebrated North America's largest Pakistan Day Parade for decades, New Jersey's first Pakistan Day Parade was held on August 16, 2015, in Edison and Woodbridge, New Jersey. California Silicon Valley counts highly educated and skilled workers from Pakistan most of whom work in the information technology, software development, and computer science sectors. From 1990 to 2000 the Pakistani population in the San Francisco Bay Area increased to 6,119 which is an increase of 76%. Chicago. Devon Avenue has a street named after the founder of Pakistan Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Topic: <inaudible> Texas. There is a large Pakistani population in Texas with estimates numbered around 50,000. They are concentrated around three main cities of Austin, Dallas and Houston in the three county areas of Harris, Montgomery and Fort Bend. They are also located in Plano, Richardson, Carrollton, Arlington, Irving, Hearst, Euless, Flower Mound, and Bedford. The community is made up of professionals involved in medicine, engineering, large businesses involved in textiles, manufacturing, real estate, management, and also smaller ones such as travel agencies, motels, restaurants, convenience stores, and gas stations. Topic: Other cities. Newly arrived Pakistani immigrants mostly settle in cities like New York City, Patterson, New Jersey, Los Angeles, Boston, San Diego, San Francisco, Chicago, Denver and Detroit. Like other South Asians, Pakistanis settle in major urban areas. The Pakistani American community are also prevalent in Arizona, Arkansas, Cleveland, Colorado, Connecticut, Louisiana, Massachusetts, Michigan, Nevada, New England, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Oregon, Seattle, Virginia, Washington DC, Wisconsin and Utah. Fremont, California has the most Pashtuns in the United States, with many of them emigrating from Pakistan. Towns and cities in America with the highest percentage of Pakistani ancestry include Madison Park, New Jersey 5.7%, Herricks, New York 4.1%, Boonton, New Jersey 4%, Lincolnia, Virginia 3%, Stafford, Texas 2%, and Avenal, New Jersey 2%. For a more comprehensive list, see Apodunk, Pakistani ancestry by place and cities with the most residents born in Pakistan. U.S. Census data According to the 2010 U.S. Census here are the number of Pakistani households in the following U.S. counties. From the above list provided by the U.S. Census 2010 data the following metropolitan list has been compiled. Culture Like the terms, ''Asian American'' or ''South Asian American'' the term, ''Pakistani American'' is also an umbrella label applying to a variety of views, values, lifestyles, and appearances. Although Pakistani Americans retain a strong ethnic identity, they are known to assimilate into American culture while at the same time keeping the culture of their ancestors. 
Pakistani Americans are known to assimilate more easily than many other immigrant groups because they have fewer language barriers English is the official language of Pakistan and widely spoken in the country among professional classes, more educational credentials immigrants are disproportionately well educated among Pakistanis, and come from a similarly diverse, relatively tolerant, and multi-ethnic society. Many Pakistani Americans tend to associate themselves with the broader Desi diaspora due to shared culture, with intermarriages between Indian Americans and Bangladeshi Americans becoming widespread. Pakistani Americans are well represented in the fields of medicine, engineering, finance and information technology. Pakistani Americans have brought Pakistani cuisine to the United States, and Pakistani cuisine has been established as one of the most popular cuisines in the country with hundreds of Pakistani restaurants in each major city and several similar eateries in smaller cities and towns. There are many Pakistani markets and stores in the United States. Many of such establishments cater to a broader South Asian audience due to the lack of differences in cuisine. Some of the largest Pakistani markets are in New York City, Central New Jersey, Washington, D.C., Chicago, and Houston. Languages Pakistani Americans often retain their native languages, such as Punjabi and Urdu. As English is the official language in Pakistan and is taught in schools throughout the country, many immigrants coming to the United States generally have a good native fluency for the English language. Many Pakistanis in the United States speak some of Pakistan's various regional languages such as Punjabi, Saraiki, Sindhi, Balochi, Pashto and Kashmiri. Topic: <inaudible> Religion <inaudible> Most Pakistani Americans are Muslims. Religion figures prominently in many Pakistani American families. The majority of Pakistanis belong to the Sunni sect of Islam, although there is a significant representation of the Shiite and Ahmadiyya sects. In smaller towns in America where there may not be mosques within easy access, Pakistani Americans make trips to attend the nearest one on major religious holidays and occasions. Pakistani Americans worship at mosques alongside other Muslims who might trace their ancestry to all parts of the Islamic world. There are generally no separate Pakistani American mosques. Pakistani Americans also participate in and contribute to the larger Islamic community, which includes Arab Americans, Iranian American, Turkish American, African Americans, Indonesian Americans, Malaysian Americans, South Asian Americans, and many more ethnic backgrounds in America. They are part of the larger community's efforts to educate the country about the ideals of Islam and the teachings of Muhammad. Pakistani Americans have played important roles in the association The Muslim Students of America MSA, which caters to the needs of Islamic students across the United States. Although most Pakistani Americans are Muslims, there are also Hindus, Christians, and Zoroastrians within the community. Pakistani Christians, like Asian Christians, worship at churches all over the country and share in the religious life of the dominant Christian culture in America. Pakistani Hindus mainly share in the religious life of numerous Hindus from various nationalities, such as Indian American Hindus. Pakistani Hindus are mostly from Karachi. In recent times, Pakistani Zoroastrians called Parsis have come to the United States mainly from the cities of Lahore and Karachi. Apart from fellow Pakistanis, they also congregate with fellow Zoroastrian co-religionists from Iran. Topic: Music. Topic: Notable contributions. Pakistani Americans have made many contributions to the United States in many fields, such as science, politics, military, sports, philanthropy, business and economy. Business and finance Shahid Khan is a Pakistani American billionaire businessman who is owner of an auto parts company and an NFL team Jacksonville Jaguars. As of 2012, he was estimated to have a net worth exceeding $6 billion and is featured on the Forbes 400 list of richest Americans, on which he ranks 179. Overall on the Forbes list of billionaires, he is the 491st richest person in the world. Philanthropy <laughs> 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 
The Pakistani American community is said to be philanthropic. Research shows that in the year 2002, the community gave close to US$1 billion in philanthropic activities, including value of volunteered time. Since the Pakistani diaspora has spread internationally over the years, many Pakistanis living abroad choose to donate time, money, and talent to further development in Pakistan. Pakistan, for example, aims to empower Pakistanis through innovation, technology, and entrepreneurship. Topic: Military. Pakistani American soldiers make up a sizable proportion of the over 4,000 Muslim service members in the U.S. military. As of February 2008, 125 Pakistan-born service members were on active duty in the U.S. Armed Forces, out of the 826 U.S. service members born in South Central Asia. This figure refers to those who were naturalized with U.S. citizenship and does not include U.S. born service members of Pakistani ancestry. Pakistani American service members have assisted with U.S. intelligence operations, and worked as interpreters, interrogators, and liaison officers in Afghanistan. Their knowledge of local languages such as Pashto and Urdu gives them an edge in coordination activities. Pakistani American Marine Lieutenant Colonel Asad A. Khan was part of the first conventional units to enter into Afghanistan in late 2001. Khan would return to Afghanistan in command of 1st Battalion 6th Marines in 2004, only to be later relieved of command. Captain Humayun Saqib Muazzam Khan was a Pakistani-American soldier who posthumously received the Bronze Star and Purple Heart military decorations. He was killed in Iraq and buried at the Arlington National Cemetery. Khan's parents, Khizr and Ghazala Khan, appeared at the 2016 Democratic National Convention to challenge Donald Trump's views on Muslims. Another Pakistani American who received both a Bronze Star and Purple Heart was Karim Rashad Sultan Khan who died in Iraq. Others have served in different capacities, such as working as military commissaries abroad. Sergeant Wazam Khan was wounded in action during Operation Iraqi Freedom, June 2003, when his leg was shattered by an RPG attack. He is a native of Gilgit in northern Pakistan and migrated to the U.S. with his family in 1997. In 1998, he joined the U.S. Army and was deployed to Iraq with the Two-Thirds Field Artillery Battalion. He has been awarded numerous military decorations. He was invited as a guest by former President George Bush. SPC, Azhar Ali was a Pakistani-American soldier who was also killed while by a roadside bomb while in service in Baghdad, Iraq. He joined the military in 1998, in the 69th Regiment of New York. He was buried at the Flushing Cemetery. Commander Muhammad Muzaffar F. Khan is the first Pakistani-American to take command of an operational aviation squadron in the U.S. Navy. He commands the Sea Control. Topcats Squadron. PFC, Usman Katak, an ethnic Pashtun hailing from northwest Pakistan, is a U.S. Army food specialist with the 539th Transportation Division and is based at the U.S. Army camp in Kuwait. Sergeant Farhad Kamal is a combat medic in the Army and has served in Afghanistan. 2D Lieutenant Mosin Nakvi was killed in Afghanistan while on patrol duty. A resident of Newburgh, New York, he enlisted in the Army Reserve a few days after the September 11 attacks and had also previously served in Iraq. He was paid tribute by the Pakistani-American community and received a Purple Heart and Bronze Star. Naveed Jamali is an intelligence officer in the United States Navy Reserve. Entertainment Shayan Khan, is an American entrepreneur, model, actor, entertainer and producer. Khan was awarded the title of Mr. Pakistan World in 2013, and has finished the filming of his first feature film N.A. Band N.A. Bharati, in Toronto, Canada on October 17, 2016. Topic. Sports Gibran Hamdan is an American football quarterback, who is the first player of Pakistani descent to play in the NFL. Mustafa Ali is the first wrestler of Pakistani descent to compete for the WWE. Socioeconomics Occupation and income The Pakistani-American community generally lives in a comfortable middle class, upper middle class and upper class lifestyles. 
Many Pakistani Americans follow the residence pattern set by other immigrants to the United States that when they increase their wealth, they are able to own or franchise small businesses, including restaurants, groceries and convenience stores, clothing and appliance stores, petrol and gas stations, newspaper booths, and travel agencies. It is common to include members of the extended and immediate family in the business. Members of the Pakistani community believe in the symbolic importance of owning homes. Accordingly, Pakistani Americans tend to save money and make other monetary sacrifices earlier on in order to purchase their own homes as soon as possible. Members of the family and sometimes the closer community tend to take care of each other and to assist in times of economic need. Hence, it would be more common to turn to a community member for economic assistance rather than to a government agency. This leads to relatively low use of welfare and public assistance by Pakistani Americans. According to the 2000 census, the mean household income in the United States in 2002 was $57,852 annually, whereas for Asian households, which includes Pakistanis this was $70,047. A separate study conducted by the American Community Survey in 2005, showed the mean and median incomes for Pakistani male full-time workers were $59,310 and $42,718 respectively compared to the average male American full-time workers' mean and median incomes of $56,724 and $41,965 respectively. There is also incidence of poverty in the Pakistani community and in particular around the growing number of new immigrants that migrated from less privileged backgrounds in Pakistan. These migrants tend to take low-paying jobs involving manual or unskilled labor and tend to live in large cities where such jobs are readily available and in particular New York, where as of the 2000 census, poverty rates for Pakistanis in relation to the total New York population were higher overall, with 28% of Pakistanis living in poverty, which is greater than the general New York City poverty rate of 21%. Compared with those immigrants that arrived from 1965 who were either professionals or students and considered to be middle and upper class, the newer migrants tended to be worse off economically. Education <inaudible> 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 According to American Fact Finder, Pakistani Americans are high achievers academically and tend to be better educated as compared to other heritage groups in the United States with 87.4% being at least high school graduates and 60.9% holding a bachelor's degree or higher professional degree. Dr. Maitab Karim, at the Pew Research Center found that 29.5% of Pakistanis completed four years of college, 22.5% completed a master's in a professional degree while 1.6% acquired a doctorate degree, this compared with the American national average of 17.6%, 20% and 1.1% respectively. Physicians <laughs> 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 An increasing number of Pakistani Americans work in the medical field. The Association of Physicians of Pakistani Descent of North America APPNA, has been meeting in various locations across the United States for the past 30 years. There are more than 15,000 doctors practicing medicine in America who are of Pakistani descent. Pakistan is the fourth highest source of IMG doctors in the U.S. and they are chiefly concentrated in New York, California, Florida, New Jersey and Illinois. Pakistan is also the fourth highest source of foreign dentists licensed in the United States. U.S. congressmen and congresswomen have lauded the contributions of Pakistani medical professionals to the country's healthcare system. CNN medical reporter Sanjay Gupta is half Pakistani on his mother's side, hailing from the village of Tarusha in Sindh. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Labor. This table shows the areas of work that Pakistanis are employed in and compares people that are born in the U.S. Those born in Pakistan and those who are American nationals Note, FB1 Pakistani-born, NB2 American-born Pakistani and NB3 equals all American nationals the New York Times estimated that there were 109,300 workers born in Pakistan in all occupations in the U.S. in 2007. With the top 10 occupations in ascending order being, sales-related, managers and administrators, drivers and transportation workers, doctors, accountants and other financial specialists, computer software developers, scientists and quantitative analysts, engineers and architects, clerical and administrative staff, and teachers. Um, 
Topic: Discrimination. Since the September 11 attacks, there have been scattered incidents of Pakistani Americans having been targets for hate crimes and Pakistani Americans have to go under more security checks in places such as airports. Topic: Politics. Since the second wave of immigration in 1965, the Pakistani American community has not been politically inclined, but this is now changing, with the community starting to contribute funds to their candidates of choice in both parties, and running for elected office in districts with large Pakistani American populations. In recent times, Pakistani American candidates have run for the state Senate in districts of such city boroughs as Brooklyn, New York. Because the community is geographically dispersed, the formation of influential voting blocs has not generally been possible, making it difficult to for the community to make an impact on politics in this particular way. However, there are increasing efforts on the part of community leaders to ensure voter registration and involvement. In 1989, observing the need for greater political coordination, activism and advocacy, a group of Pakistani Americans founded the Pakistani American Political Action Committee PAKPAC. Historically, Pakistani Americans have tended to vote Republican due to the shared ideology of conservatism and the perceived notion that Republican presidents and leaders are more pro-Pakistani than Democrats. This was evident during the 2000 presidential election, as Pakistani Americans voted in overwhelming numbers for Republican candidate George W. Bush. That trend reversed itself in 2004, after George W. Bush's first term in office. His policies alienated Muslims at home and abroad, and Pakistanis were no exception. When George W. Bush was up for re-election, Pakistani Americans voted for Democratic candidate John Kerry. Former Pakistan diplomat Muhammad Sadiq diplomat helped establish the internship program at the Pakistan Embassy in Washington, D.C. Mr. Sadiq also helped the Pakistani American community organize and launch the Pakistan Caucus in Capitol Hill. In the past, especially during the Cold War and the War on Terror under the Bush administration, there was the perceived notion that Republicans were more pro-Pakistani than Democrats. However, that trend reversed itself from 2011 onwards. Since then, there has been an increasing anti-Pakistani sentiment among Republican congressmen which has alienated some Pakistani Americans. Some Republican presidential candidates have criticized the Democrats' policy toward Pakistan. During the 2012 Republican Party presidential debates, the Republican candidates questioned whether the United States could trust Pakistan. Texas Governor Rick Perry called Pakistan unworthy of U.S. aid because it had not done enough to help fight al-Qaeda. In the same year a bill was introduced by Dana Rorabaka in the U.S. House of Representatives proposing a hefty reduction in aid to Pakistan. President Obama has vowed to veto any proposed anti-Pakistan bills. President Obama also courted the Pakistani-American community for votes and money for his 2012 re-election campaign. In March 2012, Obama traveled to Houston, Texas for this purpose and at a dinner organized by Pakistani entrepreneurs, the president managed to raise $3.4 million in just a few hours for his re-election campaign. President Obama also pledged to continue sending aid and selling military equipment to Pakistan. According to polls, most Pakistani Americans have now switched their votes to the Democratic Party. In 2013, during the second inauguration of Barack Obama, the re elected president praised the members of the Pakistani community in America and said, I am about to go speak to the crowd in Chicago, but I wanted to thank you first. I want you to know that this was not fate and it was not an accident. You made this happen. Talking to the Daily Times via telephone, U.S. business leader Muhammad Saeed Sheikh said Obama in his address told that he would spend the rest of his presidency honoring the Pakistani-American support and doing what he can to finish what he started. Obama continued his praise and said, You organized yourselves block by block. You took ownership of this campaign five and ten dollars at a time. And when it was not easy, you pressed forward. In January 2019, Sadaf Jaffa became the and first female Pakistani American mayor, the first female Muslim American mayor, and the first female South Asian mayor in the United States, of Montgomery in Somerset County, New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Relations with Pakistan Pakistani Americans have always maintained a strong bond with their homeland. No airlines are allowed to fly non-stop to the U.S. from Pakistan, but several Arab airlines fly indirectly between the two nations, carrying with them thousands of Pakistanis who mostly go home to visit family and relatives. 
The relationship between the U.S. and Pakistani governments in the past few decades has not been very close, and the Pakistani-American community has benefited from this American interest in the country of their origin. Pakistani TV channels have found their way into homes of the diaspora worldwide. Several paid TV channels are available for viewing. Pakistani TV serials, reality TV shows and political talk shows are popular among expatriates. These channels can also be viewed on the Internet. Pakistani Americans maintain a deep interest in the society and politics of their country of origin. Funds are raised by the community in the U.S. for various political parties and groups in Pakistan. From all the Pakistani diaspora, Pakistani Americans raised the largest number of funds to help Pakistan due to the 2005 earthquake. Tensions among ethnic groups like the Sindhis, Punjabis, Pashtuns, and Baluchis in Pakistan are not reflected in interaction between these subgroups in the U.S. Several international airlines serve the growing Pakistani community in the U.S. connecting major U.S. airports to those in Pakistan. The Pakistani community in the United States also remits the largest share of any Pakistani diaspora community since 2002-03, surpassing those from Saudi Arabia which from 2001 were $309.9 million and increased to $1.25 billion by 2007-08 and during the same period remittances from the United States increased from $73.3 million to $1.72 billion. In 2012 the Election Commission of Pakistan granted overseas Pakistanis the right to vote in future Pakistan Pakistani general elections. By allowing the setting up of polling stations in embassies and consulates, this move was welcomed by those Pakistanis living abroad particularly in America who stated, "...overseas Pakistanis make enormous contributions to the development of Pakistan." In American popular culture Nadia Ali is a Grammy-nominated singer-songwriter, prominent in electronic dance music and the voice of the single, Rapture, which dominated dance charts across the world. In the Emmy-nominated TV series Silicon Valley, Dinesh Chutai is the lead software engineer in the fictional tech company, Pied Piper. He is originally from Islamabad and is often seen speaking Urdu and making remarks about his homeland. Dinesh has a sarcastic personality and is known for his frequent quarrels with co-worker, Bertram Guilfoyle. The character is played by Pakistani-American actor Kumail Nanjiani. In the popular sitcom Seinfeld, Babu Bhatt is a Pakistani immigrant befriended by Jerry Seinfeld in the episode, The Café. He appears again in, The Visa, in which he moves into Jerry's building, but Babu is deported to Pakistan due to Jerry not giving him his immigration paperwork which was mistakenly delivered to his mailbox. Mr. Capone e is a rapper from San Gabriel Valley in Los Angeles, California. Nadia Yassir, a character on the hit TV show 24, portrayed a fictional Pakistani-American. In fall 2007, CW aired a comedy show titled Aliens in America. The show is about a Wisconsin family that hosts a Pakistani exchange student. Farhan Tahir is a Pakistani-American actor who has appeared in hit American television shows such as 24, Monk, and Justice. He also starred as the captain in the 2009 Star Trek movie. The latest character in Marvel Comics to take up the mantle of Ms. Marvel is Kamala Khan, a Pakistani-American in the Millennial Generation, Generation Y. Her character and comic of which she is the title character have received critical acclaim, along with being a commercial success. The Kominas are a Boston-based Pakistani-American band, prominent in the punk and taquacore scenes, appearing in the documentary Taquacore, The Birth of Punk Islam in 2009. American rapper Future's 2016 single Low Life's lyrics referenced a B** asterisk 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 from Pakistan twice. Homeland, a popular U.S. television drama, based its fourth season in Islamabad, Pakistan. The Brink was an American television comedy focused on a geopolitical crisis in Pakistan. Last Resort was an American military drama television series was based on Pakistan. Madam Secretary's first season's episode 3 was based on a diplomatic crisis with Pakistan. Popular U.S. series The Simpsons included a remark from Krusty the Clown regarding India nuked Pakistan. The series also showed Springfield's port featuring a restaurant is named the Karachi Habachi. 2016 HBO miniseries The Night of was based around a Pakistani-American family based in Queens, New York. Topic. Events 
Pakistan Day flag raising events are held throughout the US around August 14 every year. Pakistan Independence Day Parade – The event is held every year around August 14 the date Pakistan was established in 1947 in New York City. The first International Urdu Conference was held in the United Nations headquarters in New York in June 2000. The conference was organized by Urdu Markaz New York. APPNA Conference – This event is organized every year by APPNA Association of Pakistani Physicians in North America. The conference attracts hundreds of Pakistani American physicians and their families from all over North America. APPNA's doctors have also volunteered their time and services for a free healthcare event taking place throughout June 2010. Pakistan Independence Day Festival of Battery Park – This is the largest gathering of Pakistani Americans in United States which was founded by a political and social activist, Khalid Ali. In April 2010, the USA Cricket Association signed a deal with the Pakistan Cricket Board PCB to host games in America. The PCB said that they had reached an agreement with the USA Cricket Association and anticipated games starting in 2010. This is also due to the large Pakistani-American and Pakistani expatriate community residing in the United States. Notable people See also Overseas Pakistani Balik Americans Pashtun Americans Punjabi Americans Sindhi Americans Americans in Pakistan Notes and references <laughs> <laughs>